hi guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you guys are new so first off i want to say hi i'm sorry i haven't filmed a video in like almost two weeks now so i mean i feel like can i give the excuse that i was busy i don't know if i can give that excuse i'm sorry i you know what i will say guys i did try to film a couple videos i did film two videos but i just felt like the quality wasn't amazing and i just didn't want to like put out videos that i just didn't feel confident in so i just never posted them yeah i'm back now i'm sorry i'm trying my best i'm just starting this out this is literally like my fourth video out there so i'm not the most amazing youtuber but i mean i'm trying my hardest but anyways guys um in today's video if you guys couldn't already tell by the title of this video i'm actually going to be doing a review for you guys on a wallet that i just purchased so if you guys are interested in that then make sure to keep on watching also if you're new Hi, my name's Kayla. I would really love it if you subscribe to my channel, but if you don't want to, you don't have to. I never want to force anybody to do anything that they don't want to do. But anyways, let's go down into the video. So All right. the wallet that I'm going to review for you guys, which I'm super excited to share with you guys is this bad boy right here. So this is the Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet in the monogram print with the rose ballerine, is it interior? Or the rose ballerine coloring? I don't know, but this is what the, the wallet looks like. I am super, 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 super thankful and super grateful for this wallet, even though I purchased it with my own money because I am a strong, independent woman that does not need a man to be buying me anything. This is the wallet that I picked up and that I purchased. I purchased it for no reason other than the fact that I really wanted it for a really long time. And I'm not mad about this, what the wallet looks like. It is so beautiful and it looks like this. Like I said, I got it in the monogram print. You can also get this in a couple other pattern. They have the Damier Urbine, which is the brown checkered version of this one. It's either a battle between that one and this one, and I ended up picking up this one and I'm not mad about it. I absolutely love it. I think it is absolutely gorgeous, but they also do have the Damier Azure, which is like the white checkered one with the pink one which also looks really pretty but i was super scared that that one was going to get dirty so i just didn't want to get that one and then they also have it in like the on front leather and the patent leather and the patent leather is like more of a shinier leather and then the on front leather but i like those ones as well but they were like a lot more expensive than this one like they were going for like a thousand dollars almost like with tax and everything like once everything got included like almost 900 to a thousand dollars for a wallet and i just personally think that like i would rather save my money and just buy a purse that's just me i just don't want to spend that much money on a wallet even though this wallet was not cheap but yeah this wallet for probably around i'd say one and a half to two months now um and this is what the wallet looks like um yeah i mean it looks pretty brand new it doesn't look like it's been worn or anything which i mean it's only been two months if the wallet looked like it was worn out that would be an issue because Mm, that would not be good but yeah this is what the wallet looks like like i said again i got it with the rose ballerine the monogram print so this is what the front looks like and it just has a louis vuitton logo and it just has canvas going around the whole like wallet this is the back of the wallet this is the front of the wallet and then when you open up the wallet oh it's backwards when you open up the wallet this is what the inside of the wallet looks like so it has six card slots three on this side and then three on that side and then it also has two card slots on the sides of the wallet so technically in total you have six plus two eight card slots i don't know why basic math took me that long like that was basic math i don't know why that took me so long to do and then you just have a slot right here for your bills and then you also have a part to put like your coins on the side here and then i forgot to show you you can also have the wallet like this where like the little dangly things like sticking out of the wallet but personally i just don't like that look i just always just like tuck it inside of the wallet just like not a fan of like the look of that i was thinking of like cutting it out but like 
Oh, I actually can't do that because that's the zipper. Oh, I'm so stupid. But yeah, I don't know. I just keep it inside. I just don't like the look of it dangling out. And I'm also scared that like, if it's out all the time, it's gonna get like dirty and damaged and like look really bad. So I just like tuck it inside of the wallet. But yeah, price of this wallet was not cheap. It was expensive. Um, I'm Canadian, so I'll give you guys the Canadian price of the wallet. But right now, the wallet is going for 600 well the wallet specifically in the monogram print with the rose ballerine the one that i specifically got is 660 dollars canadian and that is without taxes so with taxes i think it was like around 750 one second let me go check i have my computer right here i'll put my calculator on because math is not my greatest subject all right so with tax included and everything the wallet in total came to 745 dollars which like i said is not cheap for a wallet but i mean i feel like this is something that i'm going to have for a long time like it's just never like i don't think i'm ever gonna like get bored of it i feel like when i'm older i'm gonna have this wallet and everything so this is the wallet that i'm definitely gonna have for a really really long time i'm definitely not the type of person that uses wallets like uses like different wallets or like you know i always see like luxury channels they have like six different like wallets for different purses and i'm just like no like as long as i find a wallet that does everything for me and that carries everything that i need i'm only gonna ever use that one wallet now bags on the other hand like yes like give me <laughs> i'll take like six ten different 30 different bags this is another story but for a wallet i just only ever need one wallet that carries everything and this is the wallet that does it for me and i absolutely love it but i will have to say i do have some cons about this wallet i do have some pros about this wallet so i just wanted to share that with you guys just in case like anybody was thinking of purchasing it because you know it is expensive it's not cheap so the first pro that i have about this wallet which i mentioned is that this wallet does everything for you it holds cash it holds coins and it also holds your cards and it holds a lot of cards six it has six card slots which i showed you guys and then it also has the two card slots on the sides so you can in total hold eight card slots you want you can double up i've heard a lot of other reviews saying that they've doubled up on like card slots and stuff like that and they've actually put two in each card slot so eight times two 16 yes eight times two is 16 so you can actually put 16 cards in there but i think that that's a little bit too excessive for me and i don't want to damage it so i just put in one card per card slot because i feel like that's what it's like it's supposed to be like one card per card slot i think that's how they built the wall it is a compact wallet but it also um holds the functionality of a larger wallet which i completely love and that was another thing that i really liked about this wallet because i absolutely hate the look of like those long wallets i don't know why it's just not my vibe just not for me i'm more like into compact wallets. just the only thing for me is like all of the smaller wallets they were more like card holders but i'm super glad that i found this wallet because it does hold more than your cards and it's like the functionality of a larger wallet but it's still in the realm of like a compact wallet which was everything that i was looking for so that is definitely another like one of the biggest pros about this wallet is just the size and the functionality of it. Another pro that I really, really love about this wallet is the two, oh my gosh, why is it upside down? Is the two side pockets on the side. So when I first got this wallet, the wallet was hella stiff, which I mean, it's gonna be. So that was one thing that I loved about the wallet is like two card slots and it actually makes getting out your cards a lot easier. But over time, the card slots do loosen up a bit it's gonna stay stiff forever unless like you don't use the wallet at all but like this is something that i use like every single day i mean so also another pro that i actually figured out because my card slots were so stiff one of the like um things that i figured out about this wallet which is now a pro for me is the fact that the wallet is not like closed here it's kind of just like a whole piece of like canvas wrapped around each other so if you actually look on the sides i actually make sure that i put like my debit cards in the front slots so that i can just 
take them out on the side so that I won't actually have to like open it up again. So easy, pay for it and then slide it right back in. A lot easier than just opening up the wallet and everything. This pro that I have to share with you guys is just the look of the wallet. I mean, I feel like it's pretty explanatory. I mean, I wouldn't buy the wallet if I didn't think that it was cute, but I definitely love this wallet and I definitely love the look of it. I love the fact that it's pink and it looks like really girly, but it also doesn't look like super like, you know what I mean? It looks like, you know, a mature looking like nice wallet, like in 10 years from now, like I'm not gonna get like sick and tired of the wallet. It's a classic monogram Louis Vuitton print. So it's never gonna get like get old. Like how long has Louis Vuitton been out there for? So yeah, I do like, so yeah, I'm pretty happy and excited with that. So those are all my pros for the wallet. I do have a couple cons. I mean, for me, it's not a deal breaker, but I just decided that maybe I should share it with you guys just because for somebody else, these things could be something that may not want them to pick purchase this wallet because it is, you know, pretty expensive. But one of the biggest cons that I heard when I was looking at the reviews on this is just the fact of the little button over here. A lot of people were saying that with wear and tear over time, the pink will actually come off of like the little button. So one of the things that I did, of one hat that I put is that I put nail polish remover. Uh, why did I say nail polish remover? Nail polish, not remover, just like clear nail polish on it. And apparently that's supposed to like, you know, slow down the wear and tear of this. And also another hack that I do is that I actually don't really like touch the button, although I'm showing you guys right now. I don't touch the button. I kind of like just place it there and then I just close it without touching the button. And then also the other hack that I showed you guys is if I do need to take my card out, I just kind of like take it out from the sides. The only time I really do open my wallet is if I want to take out coins or cash out of my wallet which most of the time i use my debit so hopefully i don't think that this is going to tarnish a lot just because i don't touch it a lot but for somebody that may be a deal breaker i do know that they have it in the original monogram it doesn't have like a pink button the button's actually like a metal button so i just i don't think that you're gonna have to be that you would have to deal with that but that's one of the things when ordering this one in this you know, kind of like color is just the button may tarnish. And another con that I wanted to share with you guys, even though I said it is a pro, it's just something that I want to be cautious about is just like the openness of the wallet. Um, even though for me, it's like really functional, I just feel like, I don't know, just the fact that it's open and it's like pink and it's a very light, light color, it's gonna get dirty a lot. And that's another con that I'm really scared about. The fact that the wallet may get dirty faster because it is in a lighter color but i absolutely love this color it's been two months now i haven't noticed anything so i mean i do take really really good care of it so hopefully it's not going to get too too dirty but yeah that's another thing that i am really concerned about but the like material of it i feel like it's easy to just like wipe off so i don't think it will get too too dirty but yeah um that's just another thing to keep in mind and then the last con that i want to share with you guys i feel like now thinking about it like that's a lot of cons but i mean it doesn't really bother me too much but the last con that i have is just the little part where you put your coins right here because like you put your coins right here it is in like the front of the wallet so you actually can't put too too many coins in here because it gets a little bit like bulky here and you can like feel the coins and like i'm just scared if i put too many coins in the front of the wallet it's gonna like you know bulk up the wallet and like stretch it out and like not make it look good so i don't put too too many coins in here i mean i don't really carry too much cash with me i only carry like probably like 20 bucks or so and then the change that i get from it i put it in there but yeah those are just my cons that i've experienced with this wallet so far but i definitely really really love this wallet i mean i'm super happy with this purchase i'm super um grateful for it and everything i absolutely love this wallet it is so beautiful it is like my baby and I'm just really glad and I'm really excited about it and I'm really happy with it. So yeah, 
Anyways, that is my review slash unboxing of the Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet. And um, I just wanted to do a review for you guys in case anybody else was thinking about purchasing this wallet because it is a big purchase, it is a big investment. So I thought I'd do a review just to, you know, share my thoughts and my pros and cons for somebody else who may be thinking of getting this wallet. And yeah, that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and um yeah i will see you guys in my next video thank you guys so much for watching um i'm out bye guys